What's going on guys? So today we've gotten some new pictures of some city sets that are going to be coming out later this year in 2018. So before we get into it, I do want to ask everyone if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the, that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on LEGO leaks, reviews, and news as they come out. So with that out of the way, let's jump into taking a look at these sets. Up first on the list is we're going to be looking at this set that came out today, or some pictures that kind of got leaked today, of a set, uh, set number 60200. Uh, right now it's labeled as Capital. Uh, this is a huge city set. It's going to be coming with three buildings, a bus, a half pipe, two cars, a vendor truck, and then like a whole uh, museum exhibit. It's real fun. So let's, let's take a look at it and really see what all you get. So over on the left of the picture you're going to be noticing that we get a hotel. Like it's, it's, it's on a small scale but it's also big enough to the point where younger kids will definitely have a lot of fun uh, using kind of the play functions and I guess you could say like dollhouse aspect of it. That's what kind of seems like this set's going for and I think they're gonna nail that age demographic. So we don't have any pictures of the back sides of this yet but I'm guessing that the hotel has you know like probably two rooms in the top and a desk at the bottom. Real typical stuff. Uh, moving over in the picture we've got a museum which is basically a big glass box uh, with some kind of construction play features to kind of play off that uh, crane off to the side of it. Looks like the crane's fully functional with like a string and a winch on it with that clear box at the back with lots of gears working in there. Looks like it's going to be like a caveman exhibit in the, in the museum right there because we get a caveman minifigure along with a little backdrop and then a couple construction minifigures to go with that. Moving over, you've got a hot dog stand. It's kind of a cool design, in my opinion. Uh, you don't see a lot of this, that kind of brickwork in these smaller city builds. It's more like the bricks are used for accents on larger builds. But seeing it in this smaller build, I love the color scheme of that. And I, I think that's kind of that little build right there might steal the show for me. But on top of that, you're going to be getting a gas pump and then a smart car. We've seen the smart car build before. This time it's an orange. We get kind of a sports car in blue right off to the uh, left of that along with a female minifigure, a businessman minifigure, and a musician minifigure. Uh, lots of minifigures in this set. You're going to be getting a police bike, a police person, a woman in her ice cream truck, and then along with that we're going to be getting a half pipe. Now this is pretty cool. We haven't seen like skateboard stuff since way back in like the Lego Island days. So it's kind of cool seeing that. I take that back. We saw it in the creator skate park house thing. But still, it's cool seeing this, and it's, uh, it's going to be a nice little addition to a LEGO City. And this bus looks really, really cool. It almost looks like those tour buses that you see in Hollywood, uh, where people sit on the front and they have someone narrating uh, the tours and everything. But that's, that's definitely an interesting, unique build that I haven't seen before in a LEGO set. Overall, I really like this set, and honestly, it's probably going to be in the 150 to 200 range, just kind of... That, that's my guess. We don't know anything yet. Uh, it's kind of based off of previous city sets that had the same kind of formula. It's going to be expensive. Uh, you're not going to be getting out cheap if you get this. Uh, but I really, really like it. And if you have a big like Lego City display like on a table, these little builds uh, definitely would look good just throwing them in there. Just all, it, It's kind of like a... It's, it's nothing of huge substance, but it's definitely something that could beef up your Lego City. And I really like that. So enough about that, let's look at set 60204, the hospital. We haven't seen a hospital in LEGO City in a long time, but needless to say, we get a helicopter in this set in case you guys are worried. I promise you, we've got a helicopter. Look at it right there. Phenomenal helicopter build, you know, not like you already don't already have six, seven, maybe 15 of them, but you're going to be getting another helicopter in here, guys. Don't fret. Helicopter hype aside, I think the kind of modern design of this building with a lot of glass, very square, looks really good for a hospital. Uh, and like I said, we haven't gotten a hospital in a while, so it's really cool seeing uh, these kind of, I don't want to say new areas explored, but like they're retreading old areas but with a new take on them, and I, I really like this hospital. Uh, and if you look at the picture of the back of the box, which I'll throw up on the screen right now, you're going to be getting a really cool like light brick to represent a uh, x-ray machine right there inside of the uh, hospital. So that's that's something definitely like unique to this set. Uh, the back side of the hospital, once again, it's kind of got that dollhouse feel, uh, but it looks like there's enough detail in it to really uh, warrant whatever price this set may be. And my guess is going to be $100, maybe 80 if we're lucky. Uh, but I don't have a piece count or anything on this yet, so we'll have to wait and see. Going to be getting a baby minifigure with it too, so that's nice. And lots of lots of doctor minifigures along with like civilian minifigures so 
I like this set, really solid. I'm looking forward to seeing more, more from it once we get uh, more solid pictures. Finally, we got set 60202, People Pack Outdoor Adventures. This is similar in the vein to the fun on the beach, fun on the park type sets. Uh, you're going to be getting, let's count them up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 minifigures along with a baby, a eagle, and a dirt bike or a bicycle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I mean, the draw on this one is just going to add diversity to your city, more hair pieces, more new prints. And the theme of this one's obviously kind of like outdoorsy camping adventures, so that's cool. I do like the small little builds that they've thrown in with it, like the little dirt bike ramp along with the tent and the rock wall along with the little sign. Just good fun stuff. The little baby backpack on the front of the guy's pretty fun. Uh, the dad over here's got a selfie stick. They took that from the Ninjago City, Ninjago movie uh, minifigures, that build right there. Lots of fun, cool accessories that you don't typically get in regular LEGO City sets. And I, that, that's really the point of these, and they're, they're nailing it with this. My only gripe is that it, it's a $40 price tag, and $40 just for a bunch of like generic minifigures is definitely steep. But that being said, I've seen fun in the park at Walmarts for like 15 bucks on clearance like last summer. Uh, I haven't really looked for the fun on the beach set or whatever, but for 15 bucks, like this is, this is a steal and you should definitely pick it up. Uh, but other than that, this set this set's fun, and if you want minifigures, this is definitely the way to go. And I hope they continue with this kind of vein of sets, uh, getting giving us minifigures in situations that we don't typically get them in. Uh, we don't typically get a lot of civilian minifigures camping, so this is this is fun. That's kind of going to wrap everything up. That's the pictures I have to show you guys right now. I'll keep you guys updated as we get more stuff leaking and coming out for the coming summer releases and everything. But other than that, guys, hit the subscribe button if you want to stay informed, just like I told you. If you liked the video, drop a like down below, and if you disliked it, drop a dislike. Let me know. That kind of feedback helps me to make content that you guys really love. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.